So in the last video, I stated theorem one and theorem two. Theorem one can be deduced from theorem two as follows. So as I mentioned previously, the volume spectrum omega p grows like p to the power 1 by n plus 1. So in particular, we have limit p tends to infinity. Omega p is infinity. This limit is infinity. Therefore, the cardinality of the set k natural number such that omega k is strictly less than omega k plus 1 is infinite. This set has infinitely many elements. Therefore, if c is sufficiently small, if c is very small, there exist many k such that C times volume M is less than the difference of omega K plus one and omega K. And theorem two says that whenever this condition is satisfied, we have a CCMC hypersurface. Therefore, for small C, there will exist lots of CCMC hypersurfaces. So to obtain more quantitative estimate for the number of CCMC hypersurfaces, we use the following two inequalities regarding the volume spectrum. So one inequality is that omega p is greater than or equal to some constant c1. c1 depends on the metric times p to the power 1 by n plus 1 for all c's. This I already stated previously. And the other inequality we need is that omega p plus 1 is less than or equal to omega p plus w for all c. So using these two inequalities, roughly speaking, we can show that the cardinality of the set, of the following set, k is a natural number such that omega k plus 1 minus omega k is greater than c times volume n. is greater than or equal to some constant gamma times c to the power minus 1 by n plus 1. And from theorem 2, we know that whenever we have such a k, so that this inequality is satisfied, we have a CCMC hypersurface. Therefore, the number of CCMC hypersurfaces is roughly this quantity. So this is roughly how one proves theorem 1 using theorem 2. And to prove theorem 2, we need the following min max theorem of Zhou and Zhu. So let us introduce the following definition. Let x be a finite simplicial complex. Z is a subcomplex of X. And we fix the map F naught, continuous map F naught from X to CM. Let Phi be the XZ, X comma Z relative homotopic class. of F0. So this means that phi is the set of all maps, all continuous maps
f from x to cm such that there exists a homotopy g from x times 0, 0,1 to cm with g at 0 is f naught, g at 1 is f. And for all time, c g at c restricted to z is f naught restricted to z. This is for all t. And we define LC pi to be the min max number associated to the homotopy plus pi for the AC functional. LC pi is the following min max quantity sub AC fx. x in capital X and then we take in overall f in pi. And then we have the following min max theorem by Cho and Zhu. If LC pi is greater than soup AC F not X, X is in Z, so there is a sub complex of X, then There exists omega in CM such that boundary omega is CCMC with optimal regularity. So, your optimal regularity means that boundary omega is almost embedded. outside a singular set of house of dimension at most 10 minus 7. So boundary omega is CCMC with optimal regularity and we have AC omega is equal to the main max number LC pi. So for the so this is the statement of the theorem and for the one parameter min max construction Joe and Ju chose the following homotopy class five. So it is the set of all lambda from zero one to CM such that Lambda zero is the empty set. Lambda one is the entire manifold lab. This is a relative homotopic class. They are the pair X comma Z is the interval zero comma one, comma the endpoints zero comma one. X is the interval 0, 1 and Z is this set 0, 1. And then they showed that for any C greater than 0, LC pi is greater than 0, and 0 is equal to so SC lambda X. X is in the set 0, 1. Therefore, for all C greater than zero, 
there exists omega in cm such that boundary omega is tcmc with optimal regularity and sc omega is lc pi so this is how they prove the existence of one CCMC hypersurface for any C greater than zero. Now I am going to briefly talk about the proof of theorem two. So let us just recall. Sorry. Let us just recall the statement of theorem two. So theorem two says that whenever we have positive integer k such that omega k is less than omega k plus one and c times the volume of m is less than the difference between omega k plus one and omega k, we have a CCMC hypersurface with certain estimate on AC omega. So for this case, Let us choose a map phi, which is an optimal case sweep out. That is, phi is a map from some parameter space x to zn, such that phi is case sweep out. And so, x in capital X, area phi x is approximately equal to omega k. So phi is the k sweep out means that phi pull back lambda to the power k is non-zero in h k x comma z mod two. This means that the map phi of a star from H1 Zn comma Z mod two to H1 X comma Z mod two is non zero. And then following an argument by Job, there exists a double cover pipe. From x tilde to x, so x tilde is a double cover of this parameter space x. And phi tilde from x tilde to cm such that phi tilde is a lift of phi. So more precisely, we have the following diagram. So the boundary map from CM to ZN is a double cover. And then we have a double cover X tilde of X. Phi is a map from X to ZN. And phi tilde is a map from x tilde to cm. So this diagram commutes, and this map phi tilde is z mod 2 equivariant. This means that if t from x tilde to x tilde 
is the deck transformation. Then phi tilde tx is m minus phi tilde x for all x. So x tilde, so we have constructed a double cover x tilde of x, and then we consider the suspension of x tilde. So sx tilde is x tilde times minus one comma one modulo an equivalence relation. So this equivalence relation is defined as follows. It collapses so under this equivalence relation x tilde times minus one is collapsed to a point and x tilde times one is collapsed to another point. We have a Z mod to action on a sex tilde. So this action just sends x comma t to tx comma minus t. So I'm writing an element of a sex tilde as a pair x comma t such that x is in capital X tilde and t is in the interval minus one comma one. And Z mod to x on sx tilde by sending the pair x comma t to tx comma minus t, where t from x tilde to x tilde is a deck transformation. And we define y to be the quotient of sx tilde by Z mod 2 with respect to this action. So I'll draw a picture here. So this was a parameter space X. And then we considered, we constructed a double cover X tilde. This is X tilde, this is X. And then we considered suspension of x tilde. This is sx tilde. And then we have y, which is the quotient of sx tilde by z mod 2. From this picture, it's clear that x tilde is a it's naturally a subspace of SX tilde via the map X going to the pair X comma zero. Therefore, if we take quotient by Z mod two, we have a natural inclusion from X to Y. And we recall that we have this map phi tilde from X tilde to CM. So 